Hey, what's going on, everyone? I have always somewhat been interested in seismicity and earthquakes and and volcanism, <clears throat> and uh, it's kind of peaked a little bit over the past couple years, and even more so recently with some of the increase in volcanic activity, especially around the La Palma region. As some of you may be tracking, uh, the eruption has been going since, I forget the exact date, in September, but <clears throat> I believe it was uh, t toward the end, maybe around the 20th or so, that it began erupting, and there has been kind of a, a marked increase in seismic activity, like fairly decent sized quakes in the region and oh at pretty much all times i have the earthquake map up for the usgs site i live in st louis missouri so being near the the new madrid fault is something that i kind of had, have had in the back of my mind for a while growing up in the 90s it was something that the local media and schools kind of uh, they highlighted it to us for sure when we talking about earthquake safety and things like that. So it's always been in the back of my mind and I didn't really think about it for a long time. And then uh, more recently, it's just kind of come to the forefront of my mind. Like it's something that scientists and people all over who understand and have studied this field realize that the New Madrid Fault is something that when you're inside a continental area like that, that's one of the most unstable areas in a landmass. <clears throat> so in North America, we commonly know about the, the San Andreas Fault out here on the West Coast, but few people, I think, know that the New Madrid Fault in North America is the most unstable portion in the entire country, more so than the, the San Andreas. And it's capable of some absolutely devastating earthquakes. So being in St. Louis, I understand the risk and I just kind of keep that on my radar. So what I noticed though is that various quakes around the country are reported as well as across the world. And one of the things that they note about the magnitude when they report it on a worldwide scale is it's clearly listed right here. The USGS says that all lists include most worldwide events magnitude 4.5 or greater. But if you actually read more, you'll see that they make note of a magnitude 5 being essentially the threshold for what they consider something that will be reported up upon in a more timely manner. So think of it in terms of if something is not that significant on their scale, because this is not directly within the continental United States, with, within the United States, they probably have to do some extra level of validation of that data since it's not native to the USGS. So they're processing data that comes from an external organization. They probably don't necessarily prioritize that for events sub magnitude five. So that's why they make note of that caveat here in the notes. But one thing I've noticed is there are many earthquakes sub five across the continental United States and the world. I mean, especially in the United States, I'm not so much concerned about that at this point, but when you look across the rest of the world, like this is a 3.9 that's been reported in the EU. I have not seen any earthquakes reported at La Palma on the USGS site within a quote unquote reasonable period of time, which means like this is a 24 hour running real time data feed that's being visualized on the map. 
Here's the list of events, and then it plots them on the map. So anything within 24 hours, given this current filter, should appear on the map. If I extend this out to 30 days, I'll just do 2.5 worldwide, <clears throat> is going to give us a view of the 4.5 worldwide, but anything 2.5 or greater in the continental United States. There's one earthquake here listed at La Palma, 4.6 on the 26th of October. If I come over here to EMSC, this is all earthquakes reported from the 1st of October to November 3rd. There are a whole slew of magnitude 4.0 and greater earthquakes that have been happening on the Canary Islands. Many of these have been felt by the citizens there and considering the fact that there's an active volcano that's displacing and forcing the evacuation of citizens, I don't I mean personally that seems like a significant event. They don't even consider that one earthquake a significant event. It's just kind of weird. So I actually tweeted to them, the USGS, and said, or asked, like, why, you know, it's kind of weird that none of these events are appearing on the map. And they responded back saying they don't essentially map anything greater than or less than a 5.0 that's not native to the USGS. So since the IGN manages the data for this reason, uh, this region in terms of seismicity. It's not reported directly by the USGS. And if you take a look at all the, the caveats and things regarding the data they report on here, they fall behind this default blanket of it's not a, uh, a magnitude 5.0. So there's really you, you cannot expect them to report it. It's just, they say one thing and another is what's happening on a continual basis. So they say they don't report reliably on things magnitude 5.0 or less, but if you just sit here and observe this map for a few days, you'll notice that they do on many regions all around the world. This is a 4.3 in Indonesia. These types of earthquakes happen all the time. Just they're popping off almost every single day. These, these 4.0s and anything from four to five is very common on a worldwide scale. I, I just don't understand why they don't seem to report when it comes to the La Palma region. It's kind of strange. And this age of information, this age of the ability to share information, uh, I don't know. The, whenever I question the USGS about it, they don't really answer it with any sort of constructive feedback. So. That's kind of why I, I made this video. Like it, it just seems weird to me. And I'm curious what other people think about this. Take care. Peace. Share, like, subscribe if you feel like this is something you also have run into. And <clears throat> maybe know someone who may be interested. Feel free to share. Appreciate it. Peace.